you know, I joined the Marine Corps. And when you're in the Marine Corps, uh, you know, trying to figure out how you're going to get your laundry done and, and, and what's going to happen with it. And generally, when you go out on deployment, like you talked about, one of the deployments I did was on a boat called the Bonhammer Shard, which is this huge amphibious assault hel helicopter transport um, boat. And when you're on there, they do your laundry for you. You put your clothes in this like mesh bag and they come and pick it up. And then like two days later, they leave this sopping wet mesh bag there for you to wear and like none of the clothes are dry and you know it's just you, you just constantly think about it and then when you're in when i was in iraq we used to like how do how are we going to get our laundry here like you're either going to live in the same clothes for the next nine months over and over again or you're going to have to try to find some place to get your laundry done and so uh you know i mean one of the things i think that just dominates most people's lives is how are you going to get clean clothes how are your sheets going to be washed and when that's taken away from you and you're forced to live in the same clothes and sheets day after day and week after week you know it it like absorbs your your mentality and so uh when i became an entrepreneur uh, I, I immediately was like, the laundry industry is interesting to me. I thought originally I was going to be, you know, own some laundromats. I was going to do that kind of route. Um, and then my co-founder and I were like, there's a better way um, to handle people's laundry. There's a different way for, you know, for you to give that same relief and for you to provide that same service that you were searching for all that time through the gig economy. And that's kind of how Clothesline came about. I have so many questions. Okay, well, when you're deployed in a combat situation, there is no way to do your laundry. This is... Uh, it depends, right? So, you know, when we were in Afghanistan, when the first time that I was in Afghanistan, it was only three or four months after September 11th. So there, it was just us and our helicopter and the Marines and soldiers uh, that were fighting there. Um, there were There were not even toilets. So there was definitely not anybody doing your laundry. And so we used to sleep in the back of our helicopter at night and, um, you know, and just kind of fend for yourself. And it was similar when, so, so I was in Afghanistan three months after September 11th and my helicopter was one of the very first helicopters to go over the border into Iraq when we uh, were a part of that, um, you know, issue. And so um, when you're going up to Iraq and you're going forward, and everybody's going forward with you there's no laundry <laughs> you're just whatever you have that's what you have and so you know we slept in old bunkers and on the floor and in our helicopters and uh, I, there's a funny story about how we all had to get um smallpox because everybody was worried that the Hussein had smallpox and he was going to infect everybody and so we had to get smallpox vaccine. And one of the things they gave us was like this piece of paper that you give people when you give them the vaccine. And the very first thing was like, you should change your sheets every single night so that you don't spread, <laughs> so that you don't spread the smallpox. Okay, uh, well, we have one like, set of sheets uh, each. <laughs> I had a one sleeping bag that I slept in the whole nine months that I was there and like four flight suits that I wore every single day. And so, so yeah, no, you don't have laundry. Um, you know, eventually um, when I went back to Afghanistan the second time, it was a couple of years later. And at that point, uh, the Air Force had taken over the air base that we had slept in our helicopter. And once the Air Force rolls in, then there's laundry, right? There's a gym, there was a Burger King. I was like, what is going on here? There's a Burger King. So, but the laundry was still done for you by somebody else. And that concept of having laundry done for you by somebody else is really awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about the two loads of laundry that are sitting on my bed right now that I need to fold sometime between yeah. interviewing you and my next conversation on Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, most people. Well, one of our one of our marketing uh, video or pictures is like the laundry chair that most people have, where the clothes just lays on the chair, and some of it's clean and some of it's dirty. But you know, you just keep recycling through it. You can't put it on the chair because then you don't fold it. <laughs> you have right. to put it on the bed because you have to go to bed. So if you yeah. want to go to bed that night, you've got to fold the laundry. <laughs>